actually, um, I was wondering, are you planning on um, kind of exploring other form factors um, in addition to the glove? Uh, yes, uh, but all hands based. So all hand -based. Uh, we, re okay. we really focus on because the hands are more the most interesting interaction uh, part of your hand of your body in a sense uh, because with the hand well you're kind of the master of your hands you decide mm -hmm. which interaction mm -hmm. to go for which makes it quite challenging to design haptics for it because you never know what your user is gonna do whether with an in a situation that you have for instance the vest is usually a pre-programmed effect that you can play to the uh, motors rather with the hands it's always like you need to buffer you need to kind of get contextual information and then you can uh for one millisecond decide which to, what to play but yeah if, mm -hmm. if someone's smashing into an object and uh, all of a sudden he pulls back from it yeah you don't want to keep on uh, let the motors keep on vibrating because then oh, you're still here and you still feel the touch of that you were slamming into an object so yeah mm -hmm. you really need to yeah, quickly design and and then uh, well, quickly uh, process the the haptic signals in a way so lots of nuances plus uh, the hands are very sensitive so it can get better kind of uh, resolution also um, yeah and, and and what you will see well now we have our nova product on the market uh, we will de deviate a bit from that so we will at one end try to build something that is more uh, has higher fidelity in it still is a wearable but might be less user friendly or might be a little bit more bulkier mm -hmm. and meant for like more higher end applications such as uh, telerobotics or so operating humanoid robots from a distance and uh, yeah maybe in the future also some lower side so for instance maybe we even don't have force feedback in there but it's more in a form factor of a, of a, of a bracelet or it's more in a form factor of uh, even a slicker glove or whatsoever that, accom that accommodates mm -hmm. for like more lower end use cases mm -hmm. in a sense so uh, really looking at the end client first so what can you achieve with it and well the nova is meant for virtuality training but there are obviously a lot of other use cases around mm -hmm. wearable haptics such as telerobotics such as gaming in a sense that where well haptic feedback in a sense is is limiting uh, is still limited impl limited implemented so, or remote uh, communication in general. <laughs> or remote communication in general. Um, yeah. yeah, so and, and it's, that, that's obviously a very interesting uh, way forward as well for virtual reality mm -hmm. is the uh, kind of quote-unquote metaverses or uh, social mm -hmm. uh, VR experiences because you most of the trainings that we had were like single player. You learn from uh, mm -hmm. doing in practice but uh, also in training environments, uh, things become more social and there will be like avatars next to you and you will, mm -hmm. someone else is re representing an avatar. So we also now have some uh, environments where you can actually be uh, with two or more uh, multiple users and having our gloves in there. And that's really fun to just shake someone's hand and like, <laughs> feel the force on your fingers when you're touching someone's wow. hand. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's- Why that's can also... I try this? Uh, where can I try your glove? <laughs> They're just I, for sale. I mean, I, or should I they're, pay? <laughs> they they are for sale. They they are for sale, obviously. And uh, we have more than two hundred fifty clients, so uh, mm -hmm. you should just find uh, either a research lab or a, one of our clients that is willing to let you in. Uh, and obviously, okay. you're very welcome in our office in Delft or in our. Uh, we recently also opened an office in uh, Los Angeles, so uh, uh -huh. yeah, you're very happy there to to meet one of our. Uh, uh, that's a bit cool to, to, to try it out and we're also on, on a lot of business fairs so if you're uh, looking at our website we see you, you will see a lot of uh, events we're at so uh, i think the next event will be four years from now in barcelona mm -hmm. um where we were also uh demoing there and uh, okay also that's we will cool. be at laval virtual in france uh -huh. so just look at our website on, on which events we're going to and then all right will do thank you well